Yeah. Well, we've had more there, people hanging out. This whole down epidemic is really, really we, upsetting. Yeah. They found them shot dead in their car. Yeah, that's fucked. By the time they got there, they were already dead. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, that person OD'd and that person OD'd. And like, it, going through the list of people that you yeah. know that have OD'd, it's scary. Hey, we down here back again with it. Another hood walk through. This time we on 66th Street and yeah, 66th Street, Fort Road, Belvedere. Fort Road, 66th Street. We outside the Transit Hotel. This is a legendary hotel right here, bro. So yeah, we're gonna do a little hood walk through and uh, see what's popping, man. See what's good, see what's good. I should come eat dinner here at the Transit Hotel, bro. Belvedere, man, we out here, bro. We outside, nigga. 66th Street. Got the liquor store here. So this hotel's been hood and shit. They cleaned it up now. It's not so dirty as it was before, but yeah. This is the next hood right here, Belvedere, you know? Boom, mm, that's a liquor store. But yeah, this is where it's at, the hood. Yeah, this, this area's been, uh, you know? It's been hood, it's been one of the spots. One of my bros when I was younger, he had a phone right here, but back and forth from Abbotsfield, he'd do his chops. Back when crack was the thing, you know? This was a, a major, uh, you know, crack thing. Hold up, let's see what's, what we got right here, bro. I'm walking up here, you know? See what's popping. They said not to come around at nighttime. I popped up at nighttime. But you guys got to remember, it's wintertime too, right? A lot of people ain't outside in these cold Canadian frigid winters, you know what I'm saying? Unless, it, unless it's downtown. And even still then, you thought downtown was, was bad. Like on the last video I showed you, you should see that place in summertime. People got to keep warm, right? Can't be outside. Dark and cold. A lot of people freeze out here too. People be freezing out here, man. Get drunk and pass out in the snow, or they get on the nod and they pass out, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I remember these. Yeah, these towers are all full of crackheads. This one's too. Yeah, a lot of action down here. My homegirl was like, you need to go down there in the summertime. It doesn't really get lit like that in the winter. Oh, whatever. I got to start vlogging now, right? So I'll come back. I'll come through and do a summertime walkthrough too. It's getting warm out here, you know? It's springtime, you know? It's going to be springtime in the next, like, two, three weeks. So shit, all this snow is going to be gone. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, remember I, I said my homeboys when I was young used to have a phone. They used to go back and forth from here to Abbotsfield. And I remember they freaking used to meet this freaking head here. And they used to get their fin sucked by them, bro. You know? I was chilling in the car. The older homie, you well, not really older, but when you're a kid, like, four years is a big difference. So you like... If I'm 13 and these guys are four years older than me, like 17, that's like a big difference when you're young. But they're like, yo, man, yo, you know, give them a da 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 da. I was like, nah, I was shy, you know? It's like, no, man, that had fucking scabs on her face and shit, too. It's like, no, bro. Yeah, this is it, bro. Oh, here, nighttime. Nighttime vibe. Let's walk out through here. Yeah, I gotta do a summertime hood walkthrough. All these hoods I walk through in the summertime too, you know? And it get, it's a different vibe. That's how all of Canada is like that, really. Oh shit. Fucking cold. Yeah. Hood vlog. I gotta come here in this, the daytime. 
I was hoping, man, hopefully I catch some people and I can talk to them. They can tell me about the neighborhood and talk to the locals in the neighborhood and they can tell me what it's like. I should have came during the daytime. Well, yeah. Let's see what this is all about. Hello. Hello. I'm doing a little video about the community. Would you want to say a word? the just the community about what it's we hear it's the hood and stuff like that do you mind being on camera um, yeah it's for youtube um, okay yeah. you know what i love this hood and i grew up here but like really the i don't know what you're trying to get at i've just been walking around like different hoods quote unquote of edmonton and just been talking to locals well what is it like because we hear a lot of oh don't walk down there people are reading there people are robbing or this or that and no. so it's like i want to talk from the people itself and hear from them you know i've never ever had a problem in this, this neighborhood this neighborhood but mind you i'm not looking for a problem right exactly so if you're looking for a problem you're gonna find it you'll find it for sure how long you've been staying in the hood for um well i used to be on my grandpa's lap in the transit oh no way <laughs> yeah as a baby i used to live in that building i've lived in every single building yeah. here yeah yeah and this I've really come into my own just okay being how are the how are the people here they're one of the nicest people actually. one of the friendliest people i it's used not... to have a buddy that would be drinking on the corner at the triangle there yeah yeah and yeah. he would help me with my bags every time to my door yeah 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 and, oh no you know, way like, people are helpful time. here eh? they are yeah 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 so yeah. what would you say about the demographics? You see different, every like, type of people. Every type of people. Like, Hello, yeah, hey, how, you? how you doing? I'm all right, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it would be all kinds of walks. Yeah, like, yeah, all types of walks of people. That's yeah. good. That's Working good. Working people, then there's yeah. other underlying people. People, yeah. When I was 16, that was like 15 years ago, but this used to be... My friend had like a phone from here in Abbotsfield. He would go back and forth. Yeah, I was like, this was a crack neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. And then it went to meth. Yeah, yeah. Then it, now it's to meth now. Now they're, so there's new shit in the neighborhood now yeah, too. Yeah, there's that down up of them. Right? too. Which oh, really yeah, sad. yeah. I was in Chinatown the other day and we we're talking to people outside the shooting gallery there. Yeah. Was the shooting center there. Yeah, yeah, and that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was really sad. I don't know. This whole down epidemic is really, really it's, upsetting. Yeah. It's, it's worse it's, than crack, eh? It's yeah. way worse. Like, yeah. it's getting everyone and all types of our family. Like, it's got my mom and. Yeah. It, to deal and, with it, it's really hard. Yeah, you know. But Even that's, my baby mom's uh, sister yeah, uh, exactly. passed away from it. Yeah. Yeah, and like then you don't have those deaths, and you don't even remember them anymore. It seems. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, oh, that person OD'd, and that person OD'd, and like it, going through the list of people that you yeah. know that have OD'd, it's scary. It almost makes you kind of numb too, right? Yeah, to the it's whole like, idea of it. Because when you first hear someone OD, but now it's just like another, oh, who OD'd? Yeah, exactly. When you hear like a young person died, you always think OD. Yep. You don't time. think car crash. You don't think anything. Yeah. You hear, oh, you think OD. That's like what yeah. you think. And it is it is a numbing kind of grief. Like, yeah. whereas my buddy, he got hit by a car yeah. last summer. And yeah. it's a do total different grief. Yeah, yeah. Of totally like, someone's different. taken from you. But yeah, yeah. it's, I don't know. I, yeah, it's, it's just hard. different out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where's your background? Are you First Nations? Yeah. yeah. I guess Are so. you from the res or what res nope, are you from? I was born City here. girl. Yeah. City. St. <laughs> Castle, Crazy Hospital, that's me. <laughs> Which, whatever, crazy is fun. Yeah. So does all your family live down here and stuff yep. like that? Yep. Yeah. What's left of my family, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. Same thing in Abbotsfield. Like everybody knows everybody. And people and, are friendly. It's not as bad care as. Of Everyone, as yeah. long as you're good, you know? Yeah, you could knock on someone's door and bor borrow sugar. Yep. Or catch up or, or whatever. Or if you're running away from a boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People got your people. back. And yeah. They're like, okay, come in here. Like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> you know, I've had some like crazy trips in the hood, but yeah, you know what? Yeah. I wouldn't do it anywhere else. Do you have kids? Do you nope. raise kids? Oh, no, no kids? No. Okay. That's okay. a choice I made. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's cool, man. All right. All right well, have a good night. Yeah, have a good night. Thank you for talking. Follow no my problem. channel, DZ The Dawn's World. Oh, yeah. You're I'm, yeah, I'm DZ the Dawn. I'm a rapper. I love it. Okay, have a good night. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'm a bit, a bit successful over here, man. Yeah, so people, it's Canada, man. Yeah, we got a little bit of this or that, but yo, Canadians were friendly people, man. Are you from the neighborhood? I'm just doing a, like a little vlog style documentary about the neighborhood. Yeah? Okay, would you mind being on camera? Would you mind telling us something about the neighborhood? Or? Well, I'm not really like out here. Oh, okay, okay. 
Okay, okay. You knew the Canada, eh? I hear the accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long you been out here for? Uh, like four or five years. Okay. Yeah. How do you like it out here in Canada? You like it? That's it's better, yeah. How, what about the neighborhood? You think it's dangerous? A lot of people. So I'm back in Belvedere her second time. Last night I was uh, filming and I only got half the footage. When I was done talking to that girl, I guess I stopped recording. Must have stopped the record button, but we're here back in Belvedere, 66th Street. Um, let's go. Let's see what this neighborhood's up to. See what we can get ourselves into, you know? Hello. I'm doing a little documentary about the neighborhood. Would you want to say a few words? Are you from the neighborhood? Neighborhood, but I'm moving in a couple of Okay. You're in a rush? Okay. Have a good day, sir. I'm sorry about that. Hello. How long you been in the neighborhood for this store? Huh? How long you been in the store for? For a while? Uh, almost four years. Almost four years, yeah. You see a change? Is it better? Does it get better? It's, it's better? It's good. Okay. It didn't get worse, eh? No, no. no. no, no. It's very bad. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Right on the dot. No. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Sweet lady, sweet little Indian lady. Very shy, big smile. So yesterday, the footage I didn't get, there's the dude at the pizza parlor up there. He was saying the area got worse, but here we're hearing this lady saying the area got better. So which one is it, you know? Hello. <laughs> I'm doing a video about the, the neighborhood. I'm not living here, brother. You, know, you don't live here, no? I'm from downtown. Okay, okay. 107, 107. 107. I'm gonna do that neighborhood next. <laughs> okay, okay, have a good day, man. Too, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my next video after this one, we're gonna hit up all the Grimy Hood LRT stations. That'll be the next one. Hello, I'm doing a little video about the neighborhood documentary. Would you want to say a few words? Do you stay in the neighborhood? No, you're not from the neighborhood? <laughs> okay, have a good day, man. Yeah. <laughs> One thing about Canadian hoods, it's always lower income, lower income uh, Canadian families, poor white folk or poor black folk that have been in the country, or immigrants, you know what I'm saying? Or native people, a lot of native people in the hood, especially in Western Canada, like uh, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba. Those are the native provinces. That's where all the, the natives are at. Really, there's natives everywhere, but you don't get natives like that out east. They're not visible. They're not visible out east. And now that I walk this neighborhood, bro, I'm starting to realize A-Field, the neighborhood I grew up is bigger than Belvedere. Hey, bro. Somebody just dumps their bag here and fucking leaves it here, right? I know, fuck. I fucking been living here 10 years, buddy. It's yeah. fucking terrible around here, right? You got any words? I'm making I'm making a video about the community. That, did it go downhill? Did it get better or is it getting worse? Oh, here. It is what it is. Man. It is what it is. It pisses you off, eh? <laughs> Let me get this for you. 
Yeah, I, I grew up in Abbotsfield, uh, oh. Beverly there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I grew up in fucking Chinatown. Ch oh, that's even worse. I did a video about Chinatown. 95th. This, is, this isn't as bad as there. It's a yeah. little bit here. Yeah. It used to be bad around here. We used to, I live in there. Yeah. I live on the bottom corner. I fucking lived there 10 yeah. years. But we've had fucking... It's gotten worse over the years. Well, well back in the day when I was... When I used to sell drugs when I was a kid, there was a lot of crack when I was a teenager. more present here, you know? Yeah. Than they ever were before, but... Is there a lot of shootings here, stabbings? Not too much, eh? Not as bad, not as... Well, you hear the guns going off here. Yeah. Once in a while in the summertime. Yeah. I've heard of nine millimeters. I've heard nine millimeters, 45s and everything. All types of shit. Yeah. What about overdoses? Oh yeah, lots yeah. of those. How do the people uh, look after each other in this community? Well, or if I see they stick down, I phone, you know? Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good, man. All right, Hello. man, I'll let you go. Okay, okay. Hello? Hello? No, I'm just I'm walking back from the store. Okay. Good day. Yeah, so it is what it is, right? It's Yeah. Like get in our building we have people in our, people in our building that will just phone each other, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I don't treat people like crap. I'll say, you know, this isn't a hangout here. You yeah, yeah. Leave. That's good. I've had a couple of try to attack me, but then yeah, do do. everybody looks out for each other. Yeah. Say if one attacks you, or your neighbor's there to help you guys, or well, or how is how what's the what's the vibe in the community? What's it like? There's people like that here. There's people that don't give a shit, and there's people that do. Right? Okay, so that's just the way that every community is. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hurt, right? yeah. What would you compare it to Chinatown? Well, well, a lot more tamer, eh? It's way tamer here. Yeah. Well, we've had murders there. People hanging out. Yeah. That fucking hanging out at. LRT stations after being kicked out of LRT stations and that guy came from the Congo got fucking murdered. Oh yeah, I seen that. that he got stabbed yeah, at the train station, right? Guy that yeah. Fucking was sleeping in a tent. Wow. He got kicked. He was banned from all fucking LRT stations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And this guy just fucking come here, fucking left the war stricken Congo and brought his fucking fuck family of seven here. And got killed here. Got fucking here, yeah. The thing, the one thing he was trying to avoid, it happens yeah. to him here. And you're telling yeah. me that was God's will? I don't yeah. think so. What do you what do you think? Uh, I think that was God's will. Do you think the politicians are doing anything about it? They're they're, it's legal now. Hey, listen, those guys keep on getting richer and lying their own pockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if they really give a shit, do they? How about the police in the community? Do they do a good job or? They're in here lots more than what they ever were. Before. After that stabbing, probably yeah. I don't know. They just fear more, you know. Yeah, yeah. I've seen them pull people over on their bikes here that fucking not got lights on their bikes. Yeah, what yeah. What are you doing on the fucking sidewalk? Where's your ID? Yeah, yeah. And there's cops here on the night time. My friend lives two buildings over. She phones the cops. They come right away. Okay, that's good then. So, yeah, if yeah. there's people hanging out in there. Yeah. But they tried to set the place on fire. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, to, no way. Did they? Yeah, yeah they, they tried to. They, they broke open the back door and they set it. They yeah. Set the fucking, there was logs in there and they set the logs on fire. Yeah. Oh, didn't something happen this summer out oh, here? Uh, yeah, a guy and his here. old lady got shot in his car? I don't know. Up that's, here? That's over there. That's over there, yeah. That was a black couple. Though. Yeah, a black couple, yeah. Up there at the Husky. Yeah, at the Husky, yeah, so yeah. we've had incidents here. You know? Yeah, yeah. They found them shot dead in their car. Yeah, that's fucked. By the time they got there, they were already dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, man. So what do you got planned for the day? I'm going home. I'm hang out at home. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for hey, your time, man, brother. No worries, yeah, yeah. Have a good day, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> there you go, man. You, you heard it first, man. A lot of cops in the neighborhood. A lot of shit happening. Guy moved here from the Congo trying to escape poverty and trying to escape the, the violence out there. And, and he comes here and he, and he gets gets stabbed up by some homeless tweaker. You know, that's that's not right. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. This school right here. <clears throat> this school fucking... Uh, <clears throat> my nephew used to go to this school. I remember when I was uh, when I was 17, my bro was on the run for an attempted 
not an attempt, an accessory to murder. And they're looking for him. So in the process of looking for him, he was on a warrant, Canada wide warrant, the process of looking for him, cops start watching me and following me because they're looking for him. So that morning, I wake up, I come to this school, drop my nephew off. And from dropping my nephew off, I go drop my sister off at work. And then from work, I'll go get my hair cut. After I'm done getting my hair cut, bro, I'm just bumping my G-Unit, my 50 cent, you know? I look in the rear view mirror, I'm like, what the fuck? Is that gang, gang cops right there in the SUV in the, in the suburban, bro? And I'm looking, I'm like, oh shit, it is, you know? Soon as the, I was at a red light, soon as the light turns green, boom, they put on their cherries. Whoop, whoop. I pull over to the side, bro. They're like, yo, what's your, uh, give me your, uh, <laughs> I didn't even have a license on me, bro, but I'm rolling around, bro. They're like, give me your, give me your ID. I was like, I don't have a license. They're like, okay, get out of the car. So I get out of the car. Boom. They start patting me down. Boom. I had the thingamajig on my waist, bro. Had that, that thingy thingy on my waist, G. And they freaking, they're like, oh, they started freaking out. What the heck? He's got a freaking gun. Da, 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 da. Put me on the curb. They rough me up a little bit. And I get Brock downtown. But yeah, bro, this, this school is in my disclosure, though. When I was, they were following me that whole time. They followed me here. And then they followed me to my sister's work. And then they followed me through the haircut. I remember that day. And then, uh. Yeah, I was arrested. They're looking for my bro, and they're trying to get me to snitch on my, my big homie. He's a white dude. They're like, oh, he ain't going to be your great white hope. Da, 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 da. You think it? It's like, bro, I ain't saying shit. I don't know shit, bro. I don't say shit. I don't know shit, bro. But, yeah. Yeah, this was always the hood and shit here. They got a little a little complex of Edmonton housing up there too. This is a block right here they call Village Acres. VA. My bro had a freaking apartment up here, bro. Back when I was a kid. He had an apartment here and we used to hustle outside these apartments. Back when I was a teenager. I'll show you guys the condo, but this is a block right here. Yeah, this is where my homeboy, <clears throat> he had an apartment right here. At this freaking one with the balconies with the carp cover in it covering it that was his apartment and that's where we used to trap out of <laughs> 132 <laughs> ironically 32 but yeah it's the block homie yeah these are all low income apartments right rent's going to be super cheap in these ones this is this is not public housing but rent is cheap here frick i remember used to come to these apartments lots i remember uh, homegirl used to live down here in these ones right here, you know. This is Edmonton housing. You could just tell by the way it looks. Public housing. They got the cameras up there. You know. They got the fucking cameras right to the police station. <laughs> Fuck you, coppers. Yeah, they got fucking the video cameras in this block. I'm pretty sure there's a next camera, bro, but yeah, that's one of them. Look at these houses, bro. These ones, these are the projects for real, bro. They got the townhomes at the bottom in the the apartments on the top. So these ones probably have basements and then the up floor and then there's apartments at the top of these ones. Yeah, this is the hood for sure, bro. No trespassing. Violators will be prosecuted. Damn, they closed down the Circle K. There used to be a Circle K here. There used to be a Circle K here, bro. Took it out, I wonder why. Too much teething, too much teething. 
But yeah, this block was always a block. People can come down here and make a little bit of money. I don't know what the block's like now. But yeah. Stay tuned, bro. We got more hood vlogs popping off. More vlog documentary type stuff. Yeah. This is a block, though. The big bag. Hey. I ain't trying to go for no small one. Give me the big bag, bro. I want the big bag, G. I don't take chump change. I need the big bag, homie. <laughs> Give me the big bag. Our new apartments. This right here was just a field back in the day. These are brand new. We just built these. Not too shabby. Back where I started. You guys, waiting for the liquor. Waiting for that liquor. Waiting for that liquor. Early in the morning with it too. But yeah, it's it for this episode. I'm out.